Gary, appreciate it. I think I, I thank God that you listen to the Spirit when you talk. You know, He's not down here. With, he don't have a watch on when we're listening to the Spirit. You 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 obey. You let, I thank you for that. I've got a blue card today. Uh, Lynn and Susan Henley gave me. Uh, we've been keeping up with the the jet ski accident. Uh, but uh, it looks like Bethany Phillips is going to be released from UAB and returning home tomorrow. So uh, we just praise God for that. I know there's been a lot of prayers going out for that, and we thank you for that. And when I sat down after my prayer, I guess the Spirit handed me a blue card as I sat down. And, he, and, it, and it said that we need to be thinking and praying. Uh, he just said, Jake and Marie Heron. That's what he handed me. So I want to remember them. Uh, so bow with me. Father, I give you praise, and we're just we're thankful, Father God, that Bethany's getting to come home tomorrow. Dear Lord, she has a tough life ahead of her, Father God, and we just pray that you give her that peace and comfort that only you can, Father. And dear Lord, today I pray for Jake. I pray for Marie. We love them, Lord, and we miss them. I pray that healing hand, Father, on Jake. Give him peace, Father, for what he's going through. We just pray that you continue to bless him and heal him, Father, that only you can. And, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, right now, Father God, we pray against this virus that's ravaging our world. We're tired of it, Father. We're sick of it. But, Father God, someday we'll see the glory of it because it's all good things come from you. And you will make this show your glory. Reveal it to us, Father. But we are tired of it. We would love for it to end. And you have that power, Father God, to do that. We pray that you will. And it's in Jesus' name I pray this. Amen. Adam's got something. Connor, do you have closing prayer today? You won't come on up, brother. We're not going to do a closing song. So uh, during service today, I received a text message from Carol. Um, Wednesday, they're going to travel back to Atlanta. They'll have blood work and an assessment done uh, for an internal stint for Dub. And then on Friday, they'll have blood work again. And if all is good, then they will have the stint placed at 1 o'clock on Friday. Um, since it'll be late in the day, they won't travel home until Saturday. But she specifically asked to please pray for Dub that he's strong both mentally and physically for this trip. Pray for the procedures and that his Billy Rubin levels are down even more. Thank you for your love and your ongoing prayers. Love to all of you. Let's pray for them real quick. Heavenly Father, we thank you so very much for the opportunity to come to you in prayer. Father, we thank you for your son who because of him you hear us. Father, we lift Dub and Carol up to you. Lift them up to you as they travel. Lift them up to you as they need strength and patience and perseverance. And Father, we just also pray for the doctors and the nurses that will be taking care of Dub. Father, just uh, give Carol the, the strength that she needs to be there and to go through this alongside him. Father, they're such strong, strong people. And they've touched so many people throughout their lives. And Father, we just lift them up to you. We ask that you watch over them keep them safe, and that you continue to give them the strength and the perseverance that they need each and every day. Father, they need courage too, courage to not be discouraged. Father, just watch over them always. Help us to always be thinking of them and lifting them up in prayer. It's in your son's name we pray. Amen. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the great lesson that Mr. Gary brought us today. Please help us to keep it in our minds and apply it to our daily lives throughout the week. Lord, please help our brothers and sisters that are listed on our prayer list. Please heal them and bless them. Father, we also pray that you prevent the coronavirus from further infecting humanity. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.